Should I talk about the stuff inside a bit more? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. I really, really, really hate opening my own Omnis. <laughs> this is like secret time for me. <laughs> a bunch of artists come through and work on Peter David's Hulk. Um, I think Todd McFarlane, some of his earliest stuff is um, in volume one. Um, and Gary Frank uh, works, works on it as well. So at the beginning, when Peter David did start, he was technically a jobber, like someone that, you know, that worked editorially, was not a big writer, and they just gave him the Hulk. So he kind of had his own way with it. Marvel just let him get on with it, because I think Hulk was not a particularly huge character around that time, or was not as big as he is now. It goes from um, your basic cartoon, comic, action style, and then later on, um, it gets super interesting in Future Imperfect. Like, this is, this is definitely one of the best ways to read this story. The art is amazing. It's George Perez, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and there's the Hulk fighting himself in the future. Love it. It's only two issues long, and it's one of the best Hulk storylines. And then, you get here where it's got, got this fairy tale style. Like I was saying earlier, they really let him get away with anything. Like here, I mean, super cool. He literally takes a comic book character everywhere you could take it. There's just so much going on in here. If you want to get into Hulk, this is a very large and expensive way to get into it, but it's absolutely worth it. One of the best Marvel or comic runs of all time.